Starting us off on this Thursday, we've got our friend Jen Webb who is visiting with us from Dollywood. Uh -huh. Jen, it is so good to see you. The park just celebrated the opening for the yes, yes, we just opened. So last Saturday was our grand opening day. We had our season pass holder the day uh -huh. before. Mm -hmm. Dolly was in town. We had decently good weather. It was sunny. It was a little chillier than uh -huh. we normally have, but it was it was definitely very successful. So now you're in full swing. We are in full mm -hmm. swing. It's hard to believe. I think it's fun that to see that Dolly always makes an effort to be there for that opening day. And looked fabulous as uh -huh. always. Absolutely. Yep. All of our fans and her her fans uh -huh. and the guests were so excited to see her. She did a, a parade around the park. She walked on um, with Natalie Grant. Mm -hmm. Natalie Grant performed this mm -hmm. weekend. So the guests got a chance to see her. She always loves to be there. I mean, it's very important to her, right. for sure. And she said that she's going to be back for a few more appearances because you've got some big things that are happening. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But this is part of the I Will Always Love You celebration because we're marking a big anniversary for her writing that song. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's been 50 years since she wrote and recorded I Will Always Love You. It's been a little less time since she released it, but uh, since she wrote uh -huh. and recorded it, it's been 50 years. And so we're celebrating that this year um, with kind of a singer-songwriter um, big celebration, big event. So with that, we've got a lot of guest artists we're welcoming. Mm -hmm. We're really excited. We're going to have Jody Messina. Oh. And she's kind of, I mean, I've always loved Jody Messina, but she's really blown back up recently. Um, um, yep. With the song she did with Cole Swindell. Right. So we're really excited for her to come. Ricky Skaggs, Lauren Elena from American Idol, she's going to perform. So those are going to be some of our Saturday performances we're really excited about. And then singer songwriters also, I mean, songwriters are so important because they write the songs that right. we write, we listen to. And so we've got every day we have singer songwriters kind of come and they talk to our guests in our Show Street Palace Theater. And you may not recognize their names, mm -hmm. but you're definitely going to recognize. Right. the songs that they've written, you know, George Strait, George Jones, Faith Hill. I mean, we've got all of these incredible songs that were written by these artists, and they're going to come and perform and talk mm -hmm. to guests and really just talk about what it means to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Because Dolly's a performer, but she's always kind of said she's a songwriter first. She's a song it's teller, a, a yes. story writer. And so we're celebrating um, that kind of all in conjunction with I Will Always Love You. Oh, and it's amazing great. to me because she's talked about where she mm -hmm. writes, even said one time that she was writing on like a napkin and a bubblegum wrapper. You know, I mean, it's just when those things come to you, she's like, I've woken out of a dead down. sleep. Yeah, to, to jot that right. stuff down. Um, yeah. Because they're just, they're so creative. I know. The way that their minds work. So that is really cool that they're, you all are really showcasing songwriters, something mm -hmm. obviously mm -hmm. that Dolly's very passionate about. What are some other projects that we're going to be seeing this year? Well, we've been saying this is going to be our biggest season ever. Uh -huh. So we've got a couple of really big new things coming down the pipeline this year. When Dolly was here last week and she announced that Big Bear Mountain, which is our brand new family coaster, is mm -hmm. going to be the longest coaster that we have. It's almost 4,000 feet long. So we, I was in That's Wildwood. That's quite the ride. <laughs> yes. I was in Wildwood <laughs> Grove yesterday um, with a VIP tour, and the kids were like, oh, my goodness, this, this roller coaster is as long as this entire area. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, it's huge. And so she's going to come back in May, and we're going to open that ride. Okay. Um, so we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And then in November... She's going to come back, and we're going to open Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Oh. So we've been talking about that for a little while. That's right. been that's been in the works. It's been a big project, and so very excited for that. Um, Dream More opened in 2015, and I love Dream More, but this is going to be a little bit different. Um, Dream More, you guys, you, you've been to Dream More. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like we say being at Dolly's house, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of modeled to look like that. But this is really kind of bringing the Smokies inside. So it's going to be a lot of wood. It's going to be very rustic. Mm -hmm. These rooms are going to have balconies, or a lot of them ours, which Dream More doesn't have. Gorgeous. So you can go outside and really see the mountains. Um, I'm really, really excited for Heart Song. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just seeing the drawings of it and the plans for it, it looks just breathtaking. And with the backdrop of the Smokies, it's mm -hmm. just, it really is that woodsy feel. Um, and, and it is totally different. I mean, I feel like if you would stay at Dream War and then you would stay at mm -hmm. this place, you would get a different experience mm -hmm. at both, which is, um, you know, wonderful because yeah. it's not like you're, it's, it's a different stay right. each time. Um, and did, did I hear, did she say, are you all revamping, is it the theater 
at Dollywood, is that right? So we closed the Chasing Rainbows Museum, which is the, the museum. I'm guessing there we go. What, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So yes we sorry. closed the Chasing Rainbows Museum. Um, last year was the first year we didn't have that open. Yeah. Um, and so she's really been trying to figure out what she wants to do with it because uh -huh. it's, it's her museum. I mean, the whole park mm -hmm. is hers, but right. that's really her her it's got, like, spot. Some, her clothes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. And so she wanted to do something different. She's always trying to come up with new and innovative sure. things, but she knows that it's important to our guests and her fans to have somewhere that they can come and kind of really look take a look into her life mm -hmm. and so next year we're going to reopen that experience and it's going to be more interactive it's going to have a lot of her clothes it's going to be something similar but it's going to be bigger and better it's okay. going to be kind of more technology it's going to be uh -huh. newer so she's not released a ton of details okay. yet. okay that was just kind of like her little yes, yes. this because, is what i'm working on uh -huh. yes because people <laughs> have been asking us because it is it's a very important part of dollywood mm -hmm. and so i know that a lot of guests were kind of sad when, when we had to close that, but it's something that she wanted to do, so we, we take directions and we're working Sorry. on her vision now, so we're she's, excited. She's boss lady, right? That's yes. um. right. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, you have a really fun event that's just mm -hmm. around the corner, a big festival that's yes. always a hit with mm -hmm. people. When does that begin and what is going to be included this year? So the Flower and Food Festival mm -hmm. is going to start next month. I think it's probably my favorite festival. It's Maybe so other right. cool. fun. Yes. And so the Umbrella Sky will be back. Okay. And so speaking of the Umbrella Sky, let's backtrack for a second. Okay. okay. You, you know, if you've seen the Umbrella Sky, you know what I'm talking about. Right. So for it's this, gorgeous. for the um, I Will Always Love You celebration, pink sequins <gasps> I saw everywhere. That in the video. It's so pretty. So yes, this uh -huh. is another great photo op. <laughs> I know people love that. But anyway, back to yeah, <laughs> back to flower and food. So the Umbrella Sky will be back. All of the mosaic cultures will be back. Um, it's just going to be bigger and better than ever. They've not released exactly what all the foods are going to be. I okay. think they're still kind of coming up with them. Right. To be completely honest, we. We just started the I Will Always Love You Festival. We're trying to work on flour and food. Yeah. So I've not gotten to try anything yet, but it's going to be delicious and amazing we, as always. We can see some desserts and snacks and all kinds of things yeah. in this video. So my, you know, you're not going to be hungry. No, you you're visit. not going to be hungry. I mean, food is in the title, right? Right. right. Uh -huh. And we just try to make everything very spring, very fresh, um, citrusy, you know, but also kind of incorporate some of the Smoky Mountain theme into it as well. So. There'll be some p favorites that people have had in the past, but our culinary team is always coming up with new and innovative um, recipes as well. So I'm excited to see what they come up with for this be, year. You'll be taking pictures galore. How many flowers yeah. do you think that you all use for to make those different sculptures throughout the park, Jen? So, so far we've said half a million. <gasps> wow. Yes, 500,000. And we always tend, tend to up that every right. year. So yeah. we'll uh -huh. see if this, we say any more this year. It's kind of like our Christmas lights. We're yeah. always adding more. Because <laughs> yes. um, we had two new mosaic cultures last yeah. year so um they added a few more but yeah, yeah half a million blooms and thank goodness for our on park teams keeping those things beautiful that's a full-time job right. isn't it yes. around the clock for them especially with the crazy weather we have mm -hmm. around here it could still snow in april and mm -hmm. i know. would know <laughs> oh my so we had your address up there uh yes. and i guess if families are wanting to make plans look for deals mm -hmm. that's the place to start right yes absolutely mm -hmm. so dollywood.com Anything and everything you want, whether it's to make reservations at Dream More, to buy park tickets, to buy time savers, mm -hmm. to look into Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Um, we're going to start taking mm -hmm. reservations for this fall, starting this summer. Mm -hmm. okay. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but of course, if you're like my parents and you want to talk to a real person, 1-800-DOLLYWOOD will will do you well, too. I like doing that, too. <laughs> I think a lot of people <laughs> think that same thing. Um, yes. Well, now you know so that you can start planning your visit when all those new things yeah. are opening up and... Jen's told you, because I think a lot of people all the time, they're like, man, I go to Dollywood and I never get to see Dolly. But right. now you know when she's going to That's be making right. her return visits, yeah. too. So that yeah. way you can put that on the calendar and start that planning those trips. And mm -hmm. um, there's always something happening. Mm -hmm. Always, always a lot of good stuff, yeah. and, and it really is a fun place that you yes. can create a lot of Well, Jim, thanks so much Jen, for stopping you. by. Yes, and thank you. We always appreciate you traveling Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yes. We'll have to make a trip down. Yes, I come think see we, me. Yeah, and give everybody kind of a, a tour of the new place so when it opens that. up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. We always love to see you. Great thank you, Jen. Thank, thank you. you.